off. Tighten up the graphics on level 3. It is fitting that the first act of Sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. <laughs> Alright, who opens up next? Uh, right, okay. I know. I know where this is going. Hup. Let me free. Head to Yeah. Alright. Yay, Chris. I actually need the stepping stone again. Huh? At least I think so. Will the stepping stone even compare? I, I don't think so. I just need someone to stand on. Uh, let's get Claire. Claire's easy to stand yourself off of that so I can do this yes the breakfast club all right all gangs all back together what happened to Sarah and James though there we are Sarah was deflated she'd not even got close to the fountain she could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Not really. <laughs> Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Oh, jeez. Tiny platforms for tiny characters. There we go. So, so many characters, oh my goodness. There we go, got that one. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Uh, what about John? John gets an easy spot. Same with Chris. Oh, and perhaps I'm speaking too soon. Oh. Tiny platforms, hard for platforming. There we go. Got it. Here? Okay. I wonder if Claire can even make that. Thomas, get out of the way. There we go. Did it. Alright, Thomas. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, wait. Perhaps... Perhaps there's only one correct spot. We'll see. Let's see. I need to bring... 
Chris over here, and he goes in the corner. Uh, Thomas goes over there. So let's see. Lauren goes there. And then maybe this will be enough to propel him upwards? Not quite yet. Alright, perhaps he's gotta move over here. Up like that. Okay, I know where I'm at. Okay, there's only one configuration that can work. It wasn't this one. Oh, wait. Did it change the way it was? Or am I just not paying attention at all? Interesting puzzle. Okay, so... Never mind, that was right. What? Ah, oh, goodness. My brain? It's not meant for these kind of things. Thinking! <laughs> Problem, because John is a beast if he doesn't bounce off of Thomas first. There we go. Nice. Alright. I did it. It's only three of them. Hmm. Off we go. Gotta use Sarah for this one. Beautiful double jump ability. Oh wait. Gotta, gotta move them. Oh no! Oh, okay, good. Oh no! Can't make it! I need to do something fancy first? Do I have to like jump with Claire and then jump with John? Yeah, well, it, it worked, so why not? Claire could not accept that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... Must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? Quite make it. There we go. Alright, John, let's go. first, because she bounces up and down like a maniac. It's Sarah over there, and then John is the final one. There we go. Seven four. Thomas led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. 
If that's what the humans did, they changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? No. Oh. <laughs> Skadoosh. Let's go. out of there. There we go. Oh, it has enough power to do that. Oh. Eh. Eh. Okay. There we go. Come hither. Oh, first. Oh, wait. Uh, it's there for this. My goodness. Well, Chris was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. That's sweet. I right, can't move that any further. Laura's already there. That's for later. Uh... This switch, which opens something up, I'm guessing here. Excellent. Grab that. And grab this. Get James, go over here, and get Sarah, and go down. Excellent. Nice puzzles. Good music. 7-6. Job for Lauren now? Ah, but. Ah, I see. Work together. been born special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Hmm. Alright, seems I already did something ahead of time. Alright. I uh, gotta help with this again. Boink, boink. Move over. Boink. Move over. Boink, boink. I uh, don't necessarily need her help here, but... I mean... Gotta go over here! Boink, boink! Move over. And finally... Well, uh, actually, no. But here, I do need that. Boink. And away! Next area, 7-7. Seven, seven. Here we go. I like the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He was sick of these 
contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. Ah, <laughs> oh, these are... He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Hmm. All right, so this is, this is a rather simple puzzle. In fact, it's hard to really call it a puzzle. Oh, I see. Oops. I accidentally moved people out of their spots. There we go. Oh boy! Big puzzle coming up. Gotta move them. Interesting. Swoosh. Oh, up. Get over there. That's right. Up. 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 That's right. Let's get over there. Darn it! <laughs> okay, well, okay, I'm gonna go back and put Sarah back where she goes. Into her proper portal. There we go. A little bit. John's massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. <laughs> he liked the sound of that. Aha! Woo! All right. Nifty puzzles. Who am I starting out with? There we go. Right. James still felt weird. But he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. <laughs> Alright, so far is fine. That's fine. Uh, gotta go there. Grab James. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. There we go. There we go. Opening for Claire. As soon as this opens up again. There we go. Oops. That's not Thomas. That was James. This is Thomas. There we go. Uh, go over here. Swap these two around. Finally, there we go. On to seven eight or something like that, or is it seven nine? I can't remember. <laughs> seven ten. Wow, I'm completely off. Oh boy, a oh, whole gang's here. I need. Uh, gotta get Sarah off. Get up here. What the? I did not expect that to happen. Okay. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. Huh. This is very interesting. Jump cuts! Not that I failed this or anything. I just got interrupted. But whatever. Anyway, on with the puzzle. Great puzzle. There we go. Get in there. Ah. Uh, 
easy. Just go across like that. Let's scout ahead with him, actually. See, see what's ahead. Oh boy. A selfless act. Cool, alright. Sarah. So easy. Nothing easier. Alright. Uh, how am I gonna get Lauren up here, though? Well, let's move John first, because he's. Jump over. Extremely tall rectangle. Alright. And then. There we go. Swoosh. Or. Oh, something's gonna happen. 